device in her hand. Very nice figure right in her stand. Very sturdy base. And uh shown sword in her hand with a poncho. As you can see. But in this video you also see how these Bioshock Infinite figurines compared to Songbird. Yeah, I did get the Ultimate Songbird Edition Bioshock Infinite. It's very, very worth it. The game is excellent. I can wait till the figures come so I can have all the figures that they are putting out for this game. Highly detailed statue for the songbird. As you can see here, we will open the boys of silence first. Get to Elizabeth later. Just open the boys of silence first. in the back, you will see very great detailed artwork, Shot Infinite, Voice of Silence, deeply in here so it will come out and the twist ties Twist tie here. There we go. Got it. Get the boys the silence out of here. This in this cage slumber. Shoes do twist and turn, no toes, articulation and toes. The knee joints do bend, they do twist as they bend. Uh, the hands do move, fingers do not close, but the hands do move, as you can see. 
the elbows do not, but the arms do. So, no ball point joint in the elbows. He does have this lock to lock down. And, as you can see, detail. Copper mask, yes. See the detail in the copper mask. Does open a little bit, not much, but it does open a little bit. Copper mask, mouth. His waist do twist, turn a little bit. As you can see here, he can be in the sit. You wanted to sit him down, but he's going to be standing up. You see the detail on his clothes. Very worth it to me for this figurine. Let's uh, open her up. Packaging. Damage the packaging too much because I do want to keep all of these packaging. girl in a towel who can change reality with the wave of her hand. That's what she's known for. Throughout the game. With twist ties in the back. Very many of them. They put an awful lot back here. Two stars. No special protection so the figures do not come out. But it's just a pain if you do not have scissors to cut them off. take up a whole lot of time. Sometimes you even whip scissors because they tie them down so tight the scissors can't get in cut the twist side. Her boots, we do have detail on her boots, we have uh, shoestring ties in her boots, I like the detail they put into the boots, as you can see here, the little tie, see, 
too. The, the dress itself is like a velvet material. It's blue. The blue velvet material. The jacket that's covering her corset. Uh, it's not the same material, it's more of a plastic. Uh, it would have been nice if it was the same velvet material. But it's still a nice figurine overall. They did put the ties in the corset in the back. Uh, she does have articulation in the feet, just not in the toes. None in the knee joints. Uh, none in the hands. Just twist and turn. Uh, arms, but nothing in the elbows. The head has great articulation. Uh, they do not have the thimble that's on her finger for when it got cut off. Uh, it would have been nice if they would have paid attention to detail. But I might make a thimble myself and put it on the figurine. Attach it to the figurine. Make it more realistic like in the, sh the game itself. The detail on her face. She has freckles. And she also has the, uh, the necklace. That she does receive in the game. Would have been, been amazing if they would have had the necklace instead of like uh, on the figurine itself. Like had it as an accessory, and like you could have chose like in, in the game itself, which medallion you want to put on Elizabeth. That would have been nice for them to do too as well. But the head does have great articulation, and does move. Just the rest of her body does not. She's a very thin figurine, but over so all the great size. Uh, it would have been great to have a Booker do it figuring and go along with this. As well as with the Songbird. Uh, put her next to Songbird. Like in one of the photos. So this goes great with the Songbird with the Songbird edition that I did get. This goes great with that. As well. As you can see, Ultimate Songbird edition. And just book or do it. Songbird came inside here. Ultimate Songbird Edition. Wow, shot. Infinite. Have Elizabeth from the other side. Oh, this came with the Ultimate Songbird Edition. I also did uh, pick up uh, the book itself. Collector's Guide book. I'll shot Infinite Limited Edition Strategy Guide. Has the songbird on it. Comes with an amazing lithograph as well. So it's like a uh, Boys of Silence. As you can see. Boys of Silence. Somber edition. So very, very worth it for this game. Amazing game. Must have game for this year. It is game of the year material. As you can see everything. Got it. 
so. So, wonderful game. Overall, this is the game itself. Clear Xbox. I did get a good Xbox. Not PlayStation. But, knowing how good the series is, I might also get the whole series from PlayStation as well. This is the other side of the cover. Mind of the subject would desperately struggle to create memories where none exist. So, uh, this was my unboxing for the Bioshock figurines. And you already saw the unboxing of my Ultimate Songbird Edition. But just comparing the Songbird Edition with this, with the guidebook and the figurines, putting it all together. That's the other front cover of Bioshock Infinite, the original cover. But the new cover that we all voted for was this. I like the this and the handyman cover that could have been. Thank you for watching this unboxing. I appreciate it. I'll be back for more figurines and more unboxings of very great games. Uh, Defiance does come out on Tuesday. And Justice on the 16th along with Shin Megami Tixi's Devil Summer on the 16th. And Soul Sacrifice on the 30th. You already seen me um, unbox uh, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon. All these great games just coming out right behind one another. And uh, you also knew I had got Army of Two Devils Cartel the same day as Bioshock Infinite. So, uh, thank you for watching.